can't you see what the NATO's done to me? What the NATO's done to me? They have all seen war. Now they want to see peace. These veterans are marching in formation, wearing their uniforms and medals honoring their service. But this veterans parade is about protest, not pomp and circumstance. Several veterans took their war medals and threw them back. CBS 2's Dana Kozlov has the story. When instead of liberating the people, I was liberating their oil field. One by one, they tossed them. Medals of honor, medals of service, it didn't matter. These war veterans didn't want them anymore. And I have one word for this global war on terrorism decoration, and that is shame. This group of veterans wants the war in Afghanistan to end. These medals don't mean anything to me, and they can have them back. Woo! One by one, the vets took to the microphone, made a statement, and then threw their medals in the direction of McCormick Place and the NATO Summit delegates. And there was Scott Olson. <laughs> Today, I'm going to the Global War on Terror Medal, Operation Iraqi Medal, National Defense Medal, and Marine Corps Good Conduct Medal. These medals, once upon a time, made me feel good about what I was doing. They made me feel like I was doing the right thing. And I came back to reality, and I don't want these anymore. I went to Iraq and Afghanistan, and when they gave me these medals, I knew they were meaningless. The main event, a group of more than 40 Iraq and Afghan war vets, giving back the medals they earned, sometimes throwing them into the empty stretch of Cermak behind the podium. Company! Attention! Huh! These Iraq and Afghanistan veterans say they no longer believe in the missions they were deployed to. The leaders who sent them are that these medals are an honor. I say, and we say, we don't want your medals. We want to give them back because these are a dishonor to hold. It is a rejection of the so-called war on terror, uh, a war on terror that has actually led to many, many more deaths. Dozens of these veterans say the price of the two wars in the Middle East has been too high and the reasons were a lie. They believe U.S. and NATO leaders put the mission over the soldiers. Now they want to return the medals. Our military is at a, a crisis point. Service members are suffering from military sexual trauma, post-traumatic stress disorder, traumatic brain injuries, and they're not getting the care and treatment that they need and deserve. It's a sign they reject what they were told and even what they fought for. They reject that soldiers and civilians lost their lives for some kind of greater good. You can't fight terror with violence. Violence begets violence. Um, so the idea that you can fight a global war on terror is just a, it's an oxymoron. We have not accomplished anything, so what are these awarded for? 